So I'm starting the week on a positive note and I'm just off to get my COVID vaccine. Well, that's the Pfizer jab job done. So there we go, that's the Pfizer jab done. Pretty efficient, um, pretty slick operation in there, to be honest. Uh, but then again, they do thousands of people, so I guess it's um, everyday life for them. So um, I had to sit there for my 15 minutes to make sure my arm didn't fall off, uh, but it's all good. Now back to work. Ran conversion halfway through. So we're upgrading our accommodation inside the van. So this is where we're at the moment with the van. So the two bench seats, which are going to be storage, and there'll be a table between which sits down. We've got a little storage area under here for um, dirtier stuff, a little shelf up there, and still got the top bunk. Down here, we're going to put a, a little kitchen area, Just put the stove and stuff like that, still leave the gap into the back in case we need to get through what is a problem. Phase one of the refit complete. Table and benches in. And one happy Laura now she's seen it. So as some of you may know, um, recently I started writing for um, Fishing News magazine as their Welsh correspondent for news and um, stories. And um, first feature, as, well, first um, article has gone out today, which is why I'm talking about it. Um, but I'm down in um, Stackpole Quay in West Wales and I'm down here teaching some diving and dive management, dive planning. Um, and as part of that, I've done an interview today um, slightly different note, but um, done an interview with a local fisherman, um, Paul High, and um, and his, I think it's his son Jack Cobb, and um, they've gone out today to do their um, fishing, and they've had to launch a boat at Stack Key. And if you know Stack Key, it's a very rocky, um, rough area, um, but they, that's what that's the nature of their job. So they launch the boat, they get out to their um, fishing boat, which is out on a swing mooring. And then they're away today now for about eight hours fishing um, and then they come back later on um, and they'll retrieve it and sort it all out and reverse the process so hopefully that'll be a good story in the future so just a stackpole key um, this morning in Pembrokeshire and um, got the next three days of diving teaching some diving dive management dive leading at various different sites across Pembrokeshire um, so we're starting here today and then we're on the boat this weekend so weather's perfect and it's gonna get better throughout the next few days so it's gonna be great That's the end of day one um, on this um, dive plan and dive management course. We just finished at Stackpole today. It's been a long day, but really good. Lots done. Lots of un new understanding. A couple of interesting dives. Viz wasn't the best, and there's a lot of um, plankton in the water. Um, but it's been a good day, and we've had a great fun. I just arrived at Aberridey Beach, and we're about to go and um, go and look at the Blue Lagoon. And our plan today is to get some dives in here. Um, absolutely stunning. Beautiful, crisp, sun's out.
absolutely stunning day. Here we go. Aberaidi Blue Lagoon with the tide in. Up in the old rosebush slate quarry, and behind me is a, one of the biggest Christmas trees you'll probably ever see. Um, it's, quite a big, it's quite a big tree, um, fills the quarry. Um, it's slightly overgrown now, um, but there we go, it's a pretty impressive quarry. No good for rock climbing, which is why I came to look, it's very loose and um, chossy, so it's not good for that. But next door is the lake we're going to dive in. So just arrived at Rosebush Quarry for our second dive of today. Again, another unknown site for the student. Um, so we'll see how he gets on with this. So just coming into Rosebush Quarry. Hopefully it's nice and clear. Matt's already there.
So just arrived at St Brides this morning to um, do our dive. Um, the tide is in, it's high tide. There's so much water here today, which is fantastic. So it's going to be a good place to dive today. Um, obviously, lost the sun, but that's life. It's a little bit wet, um, but we're going to get wetter in this minute, so it doesn't really make a difference. Welcome to Martin's Haven, another shore dive in West Wales, busy today. Um, the boat to Scombe is about to go out, so there's lots of people boarding it. Um, but the sea's calm, a bit overcast, but we're going to go and give it a dive and see what it's all about. holiday weekend three days of diving out on scavenger the dive club boat um, weather's looking good looking forward to this so here we go Hope you've enjoyed the vlog this week it's been an interesting one to make lots of diving going on it's been really fantastic out on the boat again first time in this month as we end the month but there we go so anyway whatever you're up to take care look after yourselves and hopefully catch you all soon